World Wide Web Blue Dub with another edition of Personal Best. It's the Group 3 Bendigo Cup. The favourite was Smoking Romans. I've also got the highlighter over three Melbourne Cup nominated runners. Ahmad, Mosh Music and Turidan. success with American and Prince of Penzance. Here we go for the APM Bendigo Cup 2400 metres. The nine are off. Wentwood on the inside, the reigning country horse of the year began only fairly smoking. Romans is out okay along with Actow and Turidan and Tara Mansour are the two rolling forward. A maid's Melbourne Cup journey has taken a huge hit. He's missed the start by 20 lengths. Constantinople's working forward on the outside. Actow, Wentwood, go for sits and then Mosh Music. She's one of only two homebreds in this race. Next in the race was Berade and a maid. He would need to earn his spot on that first Tuesday in November, all right. He's had to do a stack just to tack onto the back of the field. Lucky for him, it's been a fairly leisurely tempo as they went over the crossing to the back past the 1800. And Linda takes Turidan to the lead in his favourite role. And she's going to try and stack and rack. Constantinople goes up to race her on the outside. They're a length and a half in advance of Tara Mansour with the 1-1 one, one and Wentwood's up into the box seat. Smoke and Romans, the raging favourite, back to fifth. Two lengths to Bereda, perennial cups, a country cups winner of his own's on the inside of Act Out, two to Moss Music and the maids tacked on past the 1,300 metres. They go down the back and you can hear Linda's squeaky voice from here. She's trying to steady Constantinople, the outside, and her ride, Turidan, but in the end, she's going to let Constantinople drive over to the fence. Turidan second, Wentwood is third inside of Tara Mansour. Smoke and Romans getting a nice run fifth at the 1,000 metre mark. Berade's on the inside, followed by Actow. Then a maid, his Herculean journey has passed one, and that's Mosh Music. They swing to the side in the cup, and Constantinople ensuring a reasonable tempo. He's out by three lengths on Turidan, just niggled at. Wentwood is third, and they're opening up a little. Tara Mansour travels okay. Smoke and Romans tracks him. Berade's on the inside, and then came a maid pinch ground from Actow and Moss Music as the last one. The cup field about to come where they started from. 400 metres to go now. Constantinople's under siege from Turin and Tara Mansour's chiming in. The favourite Smoke and Romans is there at the right time. Coffee's angling a little run here on Wentwood and a maid's got the audacity to run on with Berate. Wentwood's getting the run after Tara Mansour. Smoke and Romans flat the outside. Wentwood, Tara Mansour. Smoke and Romans is still coming. Wentwood on the outside. Tara Mansour and Smoke and Romans. Wentwood just in Front. Wentwood does it for Coffey. He beat Smoke and Romans and Tara Mansour. Turidan ran fourth and fifth in a mate. It was a Herculean effort. It doesn't seem. Wentwood, trained by Maddie Raymond. The Northern Hemisphere, a seven year old, not nominated for the Melbourne Cup. Probably a wise decision. And now Connections pick up a $240,000 check. Good placement. You'd have to be disappointed if you were connected to Irish import Ahmad. No Melbourne Cup for him. Speaking of which, we'll take a look at the latest Melbourne Cup markets. We've had another scratching, Irish Gelding, away he goes, picked up a tendon injury. No cup for him. Get locked and loaded with Wishbet. Wishbet! There's a new sheriff in town. Incentivize is $2.20 twilight payment into $11. Very elegant into $13. Decent cogs plate run. Waterhouse and Bot have their import Sir Lucan into the cup and he's now a $15. That's a big move. I've heard that Forgot You has been withdrawn, so be careful spending money on that one. Check the odds, pick a winner. If you like this channel and you love the Melbourne Cup, take full advantage. Simply get to the YouTube page Click on playlists and try out my Melbourne Cup lead up races playlist for 2021 or for those interested in stats around the Melbourne Cup, try my staying the distance playlist. I reckon you'll love it.